والصلاه والسلام على خاتم الانبياء وامام المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى اهله وصحبه وسلم وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته my 5 minutes was going to be on two items that were you know two issues or two mercies and bounties that also come as trials mentioned in the verses recited by the imams the very first one is the bounty or the favor or the trial as well of nikah and the second is the bounty or the favor or trial of parenthood as we know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah surah al-rum and we've gone from surah al-ankabut and presently we're in surah al-ahzab in surah al-rum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa min ayatihi an khalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwajan litaskunu ilayha and verily we have created you and created from yourselves your spouses your wives litaskunu ilayha in order for you to find tranquility in them in another ayah liyaskunu ilayha it is all for you to find peace and tranquility in them marriage is one of the blessings that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought to us to mankind and it is through marriage that we spread on the surface of the earth that we find goodness that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevates us as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ankihu al-ayama minkum was-salihina min ibadikum wa imaikum in yakunu fuqara yughnihim allah min fadli Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and marry the righteous women and righteous from amongst you and those who are pious and if you fear poverty Allah will enrich you from his bounty marriage brings or marriage is part of that which brings the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us and so when we marry especially when we find those whom we love because this is also a sign from Allah it is an ayah وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah says, and we place love and compassion between you. Why love and compassion? Because when you get married, you will naturally love your spouse. You want to marry them. This is the person you see as your better half. There are days you will spend, and if you don't see them, it is as though your life is not complete. I know of some brothers that when they talk about their wives, or when they talk about when they were dating their wives and they wanted to marry them, they would say to them that life was nothing until i met you do we feel that life was nothing till we met our spouses some will say my life was okay before i met my spouse may we not be amongst those but there are those who would feel that my life was incomplete before i met you and i met you now and i feel that my life is truly the best life i am living this is what marriage is about and when you love your spouse the love you have between each other especially if it is built on the foundation of loving and knowing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that marriage will stand the test of time but a lot of marriages do not face this and unfortunately we have marriages that break up why because there is no foundation for the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is a challenge so it is a sign when you love your spouse and you have mercy for them that even when the love begins to wither when you have spent years together and you have now seen each other's weaknesses and lapses you still have compassion for one another that's why allah says mawadda and rahma there is love but when the love withers there is compassion it is that compassion that makes you stay with the spouse even when you have seen her become old and the things that look so attractive to you are no longer attractive it is the same compassion that makes her remain with you that when you were getting married you had a six pack and now you have gotten married you have one pack you know what the one pack is yes you have the pot belly that looks the the size of aso villa astaghfirullah one day umar bin khattab was walking in the in the souk in the market and he saw a man so big with all of that weight and he said to him malish what is this ma hadha and the man says hadha min fadl rabbi he says no this is from the bounty of my lord and umar bin khattab hadha min uqubat rabbik this is from the punishment of your lord this is not a bounty this is this is bad so my dear brothers being overweight is not good we need to lose weight i'm using that to talk to us as well as much as we want the sisters to look very good we should also look good for our wives for our sisters as well second trial is on parenthood we all pray to be parents one of the blessings of nikah is when we have par- is when we have children and for us being parents it is an amana that Allah has given to us of the children he blessed us with. 
That's why when you are giving or when the news is brought of a person that has a child and has been blessed with a child, the dua we make for them, right? From the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that we praise them and we tell them that, you know, Barakallahu lakum fi marhubi lak wa shakarta wahibak wa balagha ashudda wa ruziqta birra. That may Allah bless you in the gift that he has given to you. Children are a gift. When Allah gives you this gift, you must appreciate it and you must look after it in the best of ways. And Luqman al-Hakim understood this. And that's why when he was admonishing his son, he called his son, Ya Bunay, O oh my son, La tushrik billah. Do not associate partners with Allah. Inna shirka la dhulmun azim. Verily shirk is the worst of sins. This particular surah is the surah that every parent and every parent to be and everyone that wants to be a parent should study about how we raise our children. Today, the society teaches us to raise our children otherwise, to make our children love wealth and be put in expensive cars and see, you know, the glitter and glamour. And we don't tell them the truth as Suleiman spoke to his son and told him the truth. He said, my son, do not associate partners with Allah. Do not walk on the surface of the earth arrogantly. Do not speak with a loud voice. Do not look down on the people. All of these are teachings that Luqman gave to his son. How many of us give the same to our own children? We must make the effort because I've started with marriage because from the beautiful marriage, from the good marriage, also comes the beautiful home and ultimately we will become the best of parents for our children and our society would be the best. I ask that what I have said may be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he forgive each and every one of us and may he be a source of goodness for us in this world and in the hereafter.